What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you guys with a quick uh, Atlanta Falcons news uh, update. So today, the Atlanta Falcons have signed uh, Bud Dupree. Uh, he is an outside linebacker slash edge rusher, uh, formerly of the Pittsburgh Steelers and also um, formerly of the Tennessee Titans. Um, he did actually sign a one-year deal with our Atlanta Falcons today. Uh, so this is just another splash signing for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, you guys know I always talk about the trenches and strength in numbers where the Falcons have done a great job. Terry Fontenot, the front office, Arthur Smith, um, they've done a great job of bringing in depth. Uh, on this defense um, so now we possibly still uh, may draft the defensive lineman in the draft personally I would go with Tyree Wilson um, or Jalen Carter or you know Lucas Van Ness one of those guys uh, one of those top defensive edge rushers um, being that we have these guys on one-year deals like uh, Bud Dupree um, guys like Calais Campbell um, even though we've added that depth, I still feel like the Falcons should. Um, they should still uh, draft the edge rusher uh, in the first round, um, whichever is the, the highest edge rusher on their draft board, um, because we do have these guys on one-year deal. So even though we have depth, when you sign a guy or draft a guy, you'll have him for the next four to five seasons if you pick up his fifth-year option. So at this point, I still think the Falcons are going to go edge rusher um, but we've done a great job, like I said, of bringing in um, guys to basically fill out this defensive roster and to definitely build in the trenches. So I'm super excited about Bud Dupree. Uh, Bud Dupree is about 6'4", 270 pounds. Uh, he is a guy that is uh, great at rushing the passer. Um, he has played in that 3-4 scheme, both with the Pittsburgh Steelers and also with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, he's another guy similar to Jeff Okuda in that he's dealt, uh, dealt uh, with a lot of injuries in his career. Um, coming out of K uh, Kentucky, he was one of the better pass rush prospects in his draft uh, when he was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he had one season with Pittsburgh where he had double-digit sacks. He had about 11 and a half sacks. Uh, but he's a guy that can get you between about six to 10 sacks in the season. Uh, but you guys know what I've always stated. I don't want the Falcons to try relying on one guy to get you 15, you know, 10 to 15 sacks. If you have um, a group of guys, a gang of guys that can get you between six and 10 sacks a season, um, you, you know, you're doing great things. So with this Atlanta Falcons pass rush, I like what Terry Fontenot has done uh, with them adding depth and building this roster. Uh, but you guys, let me know what you think about Bud Dupree uh, being added as a pass rusher to this Atlanta Falcons team. Uh, he, he is a guy from the state of Georgia, um, so I'm not surprised seeing him uh, join this Atlanta Falcons uh, roster. Um, they did say that the Pittsburgh Steelers was another team that also tried uh, to re-sign him because he had played with them in the past, and he chose Atlanta over uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So that says a lot about uh, this uh, what we're building. It says a lot about Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith and that a lot of guys are starting to believe in this Atlanta Falcons organization as a possibly a free agency destination. So with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think about Bud Dupree. Um, I definitely think that this is a good signing, another good signing by the Atlanta Falcons. Another uh, low risk, high reward type situation on this one year deal, kind of a prove it deal for Bud Dupree. So hopefully he can get his career back on track. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju, I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.